All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> it's a fun day today. So I don't know if you recognize this uh, this guy, you know, by his puckered lips. Me personally, I recognize him by a different puckering thing. Um, he made the Nair video. The, uh, the video where he showed us how to use Nair. It was very informative, and I actually watched it in full. Um... With, I had this next to me. I actually need another box now. Uh, anyway, I posted it on my Patreon. So <laughs> for $2 a month, you can get access to the Papa Gut Patreon. And also, if you see above, up there, right? It's really on the screen. But if you see over here, I also will have your name displayed on the screen. Two dollars gets you access to everything. I'm trying to make it so that if I have multiple subscriptions to different things like YouTube, Twitch, and uh, Patreon, that it's accessible for everybody. So it's not, uh, you know, so it's accessible. You know, that's why you can subscribe to everything. Anyway, I want to watch his uh, ad addressing video. He addresses the video. I'm curious. I'm curious how my man over here didn't get banned. Um. 33 million views. It is age restricted, but oh my god, I guess because it's not technically sexual. It's <laughs> I guess it's not. I guess it's just because it's informative. Uh so he also has a course on how to be a good bottom. Not kidding. Uh, it's like $70. I perused this a little bit. Not cuz I was interested. I'm more of a top, but you know. Anyway, let's get watching. Uploaded a video onto my a few weeks ago, I uploaded a video onto my YouTube channel titled Removing Butt Hairs Using Nair, A Visual Guide. And yeah, in that video, I did what I said I would do in my title. I provided a visual guide oh, wow. and the reaction was absolutely insane. Like, I could never have imagined a video of mine going this viral. There's no way. He had to have known it was going to go viral. He had to have, like, he had to have known that there was the potential to go viral since he was doing that, you know? I yeah, it was like three seconds in and it was already very educational. It was straight to the point. Saw the funniest reactions on TikTok, the funniest reactions on YouTube. I had people writing articles about me, about like how shocking the video was. I got supportive DMs and comments of people like thanking me for making such like a helpful video. And there's no way anybody actually thanked you. There was nothing truly helpful about that video. It was just, it was just you putting cream on your butt and then waiting the amount of time it said to wait on the, on the thing and then taking it off. I had people like, Ask me to hang out, ask me to go on their podcast. Oh, like, if I, you label your video educational, you can get away with nudity. Oh, just like that naked yoga. I feel like such a cool person. I even made more money in the last two weeks than I ever did literally all year from social media. And like for people that don't know, like social media is my job. So that's like oh. definitely a good thing, you know? I got a lot of exposure. I guess I gotta do an educational video on my asshole next. And if you know me, you know I love attention. Like I'm an only child, like I'm like the <laughs> okay. biggest attention whore. I was lonely as a child, so basically like I love it when people give me attention. Like it makes me feel Feel, like no, seen that's not it even no listen when you say you're an only child like attention it's not because you oh, was an only child didn't have any i was alone you weren't alone bro you had friends you're an only child you're used to getting all the attention that's why the only children want attention okay so most of my comments and dms were positive and supportive i did get okay. some negative reactions as well some people said that like i only did that to arouse and some people said that like the video is gross and inappropriate and it's it is actually gross i actually wanted to throw up to be honest with you um, should not be on YouTube, which I disagree with, but I'll get to that. <coughs> Some of those people even like reported me and my video and my channel. And like, even though I did like get a strike on YouTube for a thumbnail that I posted for a different video, YouTube did clear the air about this video. And they said that like, it literally did not break any guidelines. It wow. stayed age restricted. So YouTube will not take that video down, which I really appreciate that. What other what other thumbnail did you have that was so bad? He like the cleared hell? the air and like refused to take the video down. Like I really appreciate. So thank you, YouTube. That being said, I still want to address the Nair video and like explain why I did it. And kind of just like explain to people that are new, which I did see a lot of like new subscribers and new viewers. I want to just explain to you guys what I do on the internet and like why I make I videos show my about butthole. like butt stuff and like bottoming and like all that good stuff. Long okay. story short, social media is my job. I've been posting about uh. butts and butt health and butt creams and bottoming on TikTok and YouTube since literally 2021. Wow, that's... Uh, that's quite a niche, but okay. I sell a standard and visual bottoming course at the links below, as well as discreet douche kits, and I do partnerships for... Yeah, I saw a discreet... I saw a bottoming course for free on uh, the Hub the other day. I saw a couple of them, so... 
I don't think I need to subscribe to that. Brands on TikTok. This is how I earn my income. It's also like my dream to be like a content creator and like a businessman. Like it's just like my thing, you know? The honest reason why- A business bottom. I decided to make this like a career is because when I was first starting out as a gay bottom a few years ago, I had nobody online to watch that would like give me actual good tutorials on like anything but related. Like do shit. Is it that hard to be a bottom? I thought you had to be hard to be a top. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Thing, or yeah. Like, like preparing with a plug or like avoiding STDs or shaving your butt or using hair removal creams on your butt. As a result, I got hurt pretty often from just going willy nilly and like trial and erroring my way through doing butt stuff and just like figuring things out on my own without literally any guidance whatsoever. I've been through a lot. Like I've douched improv. Do I think this guy has a degree in assology? It's just a dumb comment to make. <laughs> really in the past and bled out of my butt. Yeah, can I be a straight bottom? How about an apple bottom jeans <laughs> for like literally a week? I've had a butt fissure and like had to go to the doctors for trying to bottom when I was literally constipated. I Jesus Christ have fallen asleep with butt plugs and dealt with like the messy consequences. I think a doo to yourself. This guy doo to himself. <laughs> I did that once all over a wall. Actually, it was the it was, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I was sleeping in my uh, actually I didn't get it on the wall. Sorry, I got that backwards. I usually would sleep naked but this time i was like i feel like wearing underwear i, I then i trusted a fart it was like a shotgun blast like a crime scene in my underwear um but thankfully i was able to clean them very easily um my wife cleaned them for me she's a she's a saint then funny story she wore those you know women like to wear your clothes so women wore my she wore my clothes and she then shit in my underwear as well you know, isn't that incredible? It's incredible stuff. I have gotten chlamydia as literally a bottom virgin, which I did not think was possible in the first place. Yeah. I have cut my butt around my tailbone from like not knowing how to shave properly when I was first like removing my hairs down there. I've used nair improperly and like gotten chemical razor burns on my armpits and- I What the fuck is the- Bro, what a terrible- Why would you want to be gay? I know it's not a choice, but it's like, Jesus Christ, this is horrible. Sounds like a really tough thing to do. If I was gay, I think I would just do hand stuff. Well, I would never put anything in my rectum anyway, but incredible. I even used Nair on my pubes once and they literally shed for like two weeks after that. And like, it was the worst pubes shaving experience of my life. The list goes on. The point is, I wish I had somebody like me to watch when I was first exploring my sexuality and trying things yeah. with my body. That literally would have saved me so much pain and anxiety and discomfort. Like mm -hmm. if 20 year old me had seen my Nair video like five years ago, that would have honestly helped me, you know? It's a clear and concise and honestly overall good video that's like kind of funny. Like who yeah. wouldn't want to watch that? You know what I mean? And sure. I know my content isn't like for everyone. Like I know straight guys would probably like not benefit from my content and like. Listen, I'm going to say like I almost threw up watching the video, which you could see it on the Patreon. But it wasn't because of his ad. It was because the hair. It was gross when he was wiping the hair off. It made me sick. But he actually has a nice butthole. To be honest with you, I gotta. I mean, I'm a. I'm a. I think I'm a straight guy, so gotta give him that. Even straight girls, like I feel like they benefit a little bit, but like not completely, you know. And even the LGBTQ, like I understand if you don't vibe with my content or my personality, I totally understand that. Like you don't have to click on my videos. Like it's not mandatory, you know. But I still think what I'm doing is good. Like everything is purely educational, and nothing is ever with the intention of like maliciousness or like arousalness. People also had the audacity to say like, "Oh my gosh, Kevin, like you didn't give us a warning. Like you literally." <laughs> that would have been nice. A little warning would have been nice. Really, just like flashed 30 million people in the first three seconds. Well, that's not true, though, because, like, it blew up because he was flashing people, right? So, like, oh, you flashed 30 million people without, without a warning. He flashed the first couple thousand people without a warning. You know, let's say his, like, his normal videos, they do well when he posts them. But let's say his normal video does, um, how to douche your butt. Oh, my God. There's no way. It's another. Douching your butt is, is the. I'm going to watch. I'm going to look at it off the screen. Is this another one of those videos where he he shows his ass <laughs> oh my god no wait he doesn't he doesn't show it he doesn't show it why did it get so many views then but anyway my point is is that like most of his videos um why there's so many weird videos on like everything he does about his butt he gets a lot of views his douching videos got seven million views his butt plugs have a million 1.2 his fingering your butt is 1.2 why you need to shard after he breeds okay My point is, is that most people, 
Jesus Christ, man. What is going on here? Um, how my stepdad's adult videos made me come out to my Asian Catholic mom. What the f What is happening? Brown eyed girl. Yep. Um, okay. You get my point though. Jesus, I'm just, this is an insane channel. Holy fuck. That's actually incorrect. I did have a warning. Before I literally showed anything, I said, for reference, this is how hairy my butt is right now. Like, that's literally your warning, you know? On top of that. That's true, but you know, I would have expected you to hold up a carpet and say, like an analogy, you know? <laughs> like, you, metaphorically speaking, this is how hairy my asshole is right now. Uh, but okay, uh, the, we're all adults. It's not that big of a deal. Video is literally titled, Removing Butt Hairs Using Nair, A Visual Guide. Nair. You had to read that title to click on it and to watch the video. It literally yeah, says, yeah, Visual yeah. Guide. What do you think visual means? I wonder. Like, what did you expect? Like, I'm yeah. not clickbait. Like, there are a lot of people that are clickbaity and stuff. I'm not clickbait. So if I say it's a visual guide, it's a visual guide. You had to search for the video on YouTube, read the title, click on it. Here, yeah. for reference, this is how hairy my butt is right now, and then see my butt. But that it's his, his cadence is on uh, point though, because he said it just like that. This is how high my butthole is right now. That's like four boundaries, like four steps, like four warnings, you know? So the whole argument of like, oh my gosh, like there's no warning, like he's making us watch his trigger bare warning. butt. That's wrong. Like you're literally wrong. I think they would, he wouldn't be considered a bear. He wouldn't have a bear butt. <laughs> I would have a bear butt. Some people on the internet have noticed that my butthole breathed and whoa went. no it didn't breathe this guy was like flexing it like a fucking like his bicep he was like boom he was just popping he was like puckering it it looked like a little puffer fish mouth he was doing it on perp bro it was insane i think i saw a, an internal hemorrhoid because of how fucking hard he was flexing his asshole at them at the end of my nair video and i want to give you some context as to why i did that what? i can tell you right now 1000 percent, it was not to arouse which is literally what everyone thinks the intention behind that little wink was people are like oh my gosh like he did it to like secretly turn people on like he knew what he was doing actually the only real reason why i clenched and unclenched my butthole in that video is because i wanted to give you a full view of like how far the nair went without actually going inside my butthole for people that don't know butt hairs don't actually grow grow like on the hole like it's literally a hole how can butt hairs actually grow on your butthole like that literally makes no sense when we refer sure. to butt hairs we're usually only talking about hairs on our cheeks both the outer and inner parts of our cheeks i can't speak for everyone's hairy jesus christ super chatted five dollars okay papai subscribe to the patreon please return my family uh three to five business days don't worry no, it makes sense that he was just trying to spread it and show everybody, and then, like, it was kind of an involuntary uh, puckering reaction, you know? But, but for me personally, most of my butt hairs are in the innermost parts of my cheeks, as you may already know. And uh, of course. Makes perfect sense. As you may already have seen. The ones on my outer cheeks are just stray hairs. Like, there's not, like, giant clumps of hairs on my outer butt cheeks. They're all in my inner ones. When I talk about the innermost parts of my butt cheeks, I mean, like, the literal part of my butt cheeks that's, like, closest to my butthole. You have to, like, spread your cheeks apart to see the innermost parts of your butt cheeks. That's where most of the hairs are. That's why hairs- Yeah, really putting his soul into every time he says butthole. True. It's come out of the crack because it's, like- My butthole?! Fuck you, right? It's the same energy. Inside, you know what I mean? Like you have to spread the cheeks apart to see the hairs and like the parts. I yep. opened and closed my butthole to show you that when you open up and close, there are actually no hairs in the actual hole itself. There's no way you actually did that. It makes more sense that you just actually, like your butt, your asshole like kind of puckered when you spread, spreading it out because like you were oh, spreading it so much, it was like an involuntary bodily reaction. Just in the outer areas on the cheeks. It wasn't like a calculated move to arouse. I just thought it'd be a decent idea to give you a full visual guide, like I said in the title. Also, we all clench and unclench our buttholes randomly sometimes. Not me. When I'm we're sorry. like sitting or like walking or when we're like excited or like anxious, like it just happens. Like okay. when we poop, like when we poop, we literally have to open up to let the poop chunks out. When we want to close our poops, we, close yeah. them and like when we hold them in and stuff or if we're like feeling anxious or like feeling like lulcy goalsy like sometimes they just open what put up and close naturally that? like it's our buttholes like yeah. it, we all have it like it's a natural thing like it's not something that you have to like make to seem like such a bad thing you know like, yeah, yeah i agree make buttholes great again am i right guys it's like our butts my point is the wink or the breathing or the 
clenching and unclenching of my <clears throat> butthole, it's not a huge deal. And I did it for your extra knowledge and extra guidance. I don't know what else I have to address. Like, I feel like people are like, oh my gosh, like there are kids on this app. Yes, but like I literally age restricted it before posting it. Like, I don't know why it says YouTube did it. Like I did it myself. Did he do it himself? I mean, I wasn't uh, deep enough into the lore. Um, for reference. It doesn't say YouTube, did it? It says age restricted video based on, oh, maybe it's based on community guidelines. Um, guys, you want to see it? <laughs> you want to see it? Nah, you can check out the Patreon. And also, it was literally not to arouse at all. Like, yeah. I'm not a popcorn star. I've never had an OF or anything like that. Like, I'm popcorn. So I get what he's saying, but I've never heard it like that. Usually it's like, you know, corn star or accountant. I'm not that type of person. Like, I don't get how you can watch my videos and be like, oh my gosh, like, he's so, like, trying to arouse. Like, I'm, I'm so weird and I'm so, like... Like, I'm never like, oh my gosh, guys, like, I'm so hot. Like, look at me. Like, never have I ever been like, like, no judgment to anyone that does that. But like, is that who I am? Like, is that who I am internally or externally? No, I just want to, you know, show you what to do because I've hurt myself a bunch in the past and I like want to help you out. And you know, most people understand that about me. Most people like understand and like thank me. And they're like, Kevin, like, this is so good. But there are some people that are like, oh my gosh, like he's trying to seduce. Like, no, I'm not trying to seduce anyone. Well, I think it's pretty clear he wasn't trying to seduce anybody. I think people are very immature if they can't look at that and be like okay it's clearly not sexual it's we are a very weird society um where we can't differentiate things like that but that's youtubers it's people who like it's people on youtube like they're very immature they don't really like most people are like unironically very immature on youtube um even like the creators your favorite creators who you like a lot are very immature they, they don't know how to have like a legitimate like intelligent conversations about real issues it's mostly just oh my god something farted or pooped oh but it's sexual you know so and like, oh, I really don't enjoy that. Like, I <laughs> am very much a wholesome person. So I hope this explains everything. I certainly got a big old hole. <laughs> Not just some hole. Not wholesome. Not some hole. It's a big hole. Uploaded I got that some video, hole. like, solely to educate. I Maybe I edited certain things in a way that, like, made it seem kind of funny and, like, kind of entertaining. Like, comedic. Tiny. Yeah, comedic. <laughs> and stuff but literally not in like an arousing like oh my gosh like look at me i'm so hot like not in that way like at all definitely not to arouse <sighs> i only want to arouse in like an intimate relationship with one other person like i'm very much like a monogamous person like i'm not like that you know what i mean i'm also like baptized and i'm literally catholic so i'm not gonna be like oh my gosh like i am so hot like look at me like i'm so sexy like that is not who i am also i don't know what does it have to do with anything to that whatever oh so, nair has not reached out to me for a partnership which is so crazy like nair like hit me up like i can literally promote your product so well call me I think that's yeah, it for today, yeah. you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, I really, really do appreciate your support. And I love having like new subscribers on my channel. Like I really, I, I love seeing that you guys are like following me and like being interested. Like it makes me so happy. Stick around. I promise you oh, won't be disappointed. Shoot. Like I am a cool person. Like I'm kind of funny and stuff. As always, don't forget to check out my full bottoming course with visual guides at the links below. It's a very helpful educational course for gay people. And of course, okay. please check out my discreet douche kits as well. These are products that I absolutely love and use. And they're just like the best. I also have a Discord server at the links below where my fans and followers can get together and like make new friends and chat with me in a more personal way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you. I hope this explains everything. I am not here to arouse. I am only here to educate and to entertain. And I only groom my butt hair bloomers. Leave a comment down below if you have any, okay. any video recommendations or if you have any comments or concerns. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon. A few weeks. Okay. I don't really have much to say. Um, we saw a grown, a grown man's asshole, so that's it.